Bingo, bingo, boingo. Oingo, boingo. Boingo, hoingo. Oingy, boignowski. Shongy, twingy, wangy. Tukumsha. They're wani, wani. Back to our stupid reactions, you did some Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter not Twitter, to Twitter, 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 I think I'm saying it wrong still. <laughs> How did we used to say it? I don't want to know because then yeah. I'll screw it up again. We, we I forgot. Famously said oh, it wrong, wrong for a long, for a long, time. long time. I think I think I even put it in wrong in the the, the celebration song where we mentioned like eight of the industries. Oh, Malayalam. I think so. Because I'm Malayalam. Malayalam Telugu. That's true. Because in the song, I think I say Malayalam Telugu instead yeah. of Malayalam. And then yeah. it's actually Malayalam. Malayalam. Anyways, uh, the new 2021 uh, film that just came out on Amazon Prime. Starring an actor that just doesn't seem to be working that much. It's been a long, yeah. long time. I feel like he should get more work. Yeah, it's true. It, just... he, like, especially this year. I feel like he hasn't put out There was such great opportunities he, this year to put out stuff. He didn't put, put out, out any films during the pandemic. Nothing. He's been probably the most, like, lazy actor. <laughs> we watched Malik. Uh, <laughs> now, what's the correct pronunciation of this? Because I've seen seven. It has an asterisk. Is it an asterisk? I don't know. Yeah, but I've seen. It's got deep meaning, and it's it's. Uh, I I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But I call it Malik. There you go. If I'm mispronouncing it, I apologize. Uh, but the directed, written, and I believe edited. Edited. Edited, yeah. edited by. Uh, say his name. Mahesh Noyanit. Noyanin. Forgive me again for Who, mispronouncing that. Uh, you, we know from he did he directed See You Soon. Uh, and edited it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but he also did Take Off, which we haven't seen. I just Correct. know about that film uh, and how popular that film was. Starring just a few people. Yep. Uh, it's an ensemble. Uh, first and foremost, my dost Fafa. Uh, and then also his wife in this. Is, uh, uh, they, she, um, they have it in um, a weird order here. They do. They, they they put it in like alphabetical order. There she is. There she is. Yeah. Namisha Sajayan. Who? Ooh. She's on fire. This she year. is on fire this year. The last thing we saw her in was uh, the um, Nayakan. Yes, and then and then and then Great right, Indian Kitchen. Yeah, like we've seen back to back to back with her Great Indian Kitchen. Great Indian Kitchen, and then uh, also there's a whole bunch of other people. But then uh, who we just saw also in Nayakan was a uh, Joju George, yeah. as well. Um, since this just came out, we're gonna do a little different. We normally always do just complete spoiler reviews, right. but since it's it just came out last night. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a little non-spoiler review in case you haven't watched it. It's on Amazon. It's two hours forty-one minutes. Um, so and then the second half we'll, we'll be spoiling. I will let you know when we get to spoilers. I just want in case you guys haven't seen it yet. Uh, I, I, I want to give you a little something. So Rick, your yep. initial non-spoiler non-spoiler thoughts. Well, what a surprise that Fafa is uh, doing good work. He sucks at acting. Gee whiz, man. Oh, wait. It's opposite day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, just what are you going to say? Uh, he's just always good. You have a very strong ensemble. It, uh, uh, without giving anything away, the film, I feel like, gets better as it goes on. You've got some impressive stuff. There's some... There, you can look for... A couple of one-shot things and see if you can see the sleight of hand and the one-shot things. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I really liked it and I felt like it got better as it went on. Yeah. And I am thoroughly, spectacularly impressed, most of all, and there's a lot I'm impressed by, but this is the most eclectic and incredible score. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the music in this is... Just incredible. So uh, on a whole, I thought it was a really, really, yeah. really good movie. I, I do as well. Uh, my well, some of my favorite parts, uh, like basically, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Yeah, go watch uh, it. It's it's definitely a worthwhile film. I think the only the only debate would be whether it's a good film or a great film. Right. It, I think it falls into that, but I don't think anybody can say it's a bad film. It's it's a very you, very good film. Yeah. If you, <laughs> if you say it's a bad film, then you're just talking about. 
your personal choice of kind of film. Yeah. Because if you're talking about the, the technicalities yeah. of it, believability, cinematography, direction, acting, writing, score. Yeah. So it's, I, I think it falls into the line of good mm -hmm. to great, depending on Correct. how you view it. I agree. Um, so, but uh, it's, I'll get to the actors here in just a second, but uh, I think the cinematography, not just the single shot that it's, it starts off with a, about a 12 minute. Uh, yeah, it's 12 to 13 minutes. Of a single shot, which is like Family Man-esque in terms of well, how, how so. they did it. And at night too. But even though that was so cool, it's not the most impressive cinematography I feel like in the entire thing. I agree. This had some of the most gorgeous, also, because uh, people do confuse just beauty with cinematography. It, it's not, not... They're not mutually exclusive. They're not just the same. Even though they, obviously, cinematography can help it be absolutely no, but gorgeous. We can equally talk about the beauty and the magnificence of cinematography in a Sanjay Lila Bansali film and an Anurag Kashyap or yeah. Vishal Bardwaj. Yeah. And they're going to be very, very different in terms of the aesthetic, but... The technical aspects of the cinematography are what we're yeah. typically talking about. And uh, the camera work in this was fantastic. Yeah, very, very good. Uh, Fafa did his own stunts. Uh, <laughs> I, did, oh. I did confirm when he fell did off the roof. Yeah, that was him. That was him. Well, and the stunt work as a whole. Stunt work and makeup did a great job, I thought. Yeah. Uh, aging him? Yeah, they did a great job of aging him and a couple of other people. They did some small wound makeup that was very good and very consistent. Mm -hmm. I think the score was really, really yeah, nice. So good. Uh, and so I'm just, I'm just kind of going vague over. I think the only thing that you could you could take away is if it, um, I, I might've been left wanting just a little bit more at the end. Just that with my gangster films, that's what I want. I want I want yeah. a little more, which a I think- A little cathartic. It, yeah, it, it, yeah. I, it's probably Martin Scorsese's fault uh, for, for, <laughs> for making that he gangster genre uh, something that, you know, you're expecting a certain something. You're at least expecting a few things to shock you in a gangster Yeah. Film. Oh, this guy definitely had some shocks, but I feel like the ending... Yeah, it surprises. Was, yeah, it yeah. definitely had some surprises and was like, whoa, well, that just happened. Right. right. <laughs> Which was really, really fun. Uh, so that's, I think, it could be a debate. Is it a little too long sometimes? Uh, I don't think so, but I feel like I've heard some people say they think it's a little too yeah, long. Uh, I don't I, think I so. I don't that. think it dragged I, very much. I don't think it dragged either. And the only thing that would probably differentiate the good to great for for me and others is not really fair to the film. And it's this aspect of the film, and I'm not going to give anything away. But I had, a, I had a lot of stupid babies message me on Instagram and do their best to try to give me some context about who this is, what this is, the stories that are being combined and why it matters. Yeah. And it's not the film's fault that we're ignorant to a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Another aspect for me, there were, especially in the front end of the film, and it's, again, it's not Malayalam's fault. It just is what it is. There are times when they talk so fast in Malayalam yeah. films, and this is one of them. They talk really, really fast. Where I'm doing everything I can to keep up with what they're saying, and I don't see a face or I don't see a yeah. shot, you know? It's so unfortunate. So the combination of that with the deeper aspects of the, the culture, this region, these stories are lost on us. And that's, that's a shame, but it, on the other hand, it does make us want to know more. Yeah. And that's so, a good thing. Overall... I think a really, really good really film. Good I think film. everybody should go see this film. Yeah. Uh, performances, cinematography, score, direction, all, all top notch board, yeah. in this film. So definitely go give it a watch. Uh, and if you don't, if you want to be spoiled now, stay. If you haven't seen it, please yeah. go watch it and come back. Now we're, we're going to get into the more. We're assuming you've all seen it. We're going to get into more nitty gritty here. Here it uh, goes. Let's start with the performances. Fafa, you know, he's one of my favorites. Um, oh, and I did figure out, um, the, I think the most actor we've seen the most, he's getting up there, but um, is I think it? it's Irfan or it's Amir. Amir Khan. I think it's one of them. Especially, yeah, especially, really close. especially if you include him as a dog and her. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Anyway. Sorry, we've seen quite a bit of Fafa as well. Yeah. And he's so good because he's so he's so different. Uh, even though, I think to the untrained eye, some people might think he's like always the villain creep kind of weird guy yeah but like that's very vague on the yeah. very like all of his characters are just completely different it, this is nowhere near what kumbala g knight's no, his character is not at it's all. nowhere near what joji this no. this past year was exactly <laughs> even the three films he did this year see you soon mm -hmm. it, it was nowhere like joji and this is nowhere like malak Agreed. malak uh so i think he has such a talent and such a range uh, uh, and I would I would like to see him, and I I think I saw somebody say he wants to do like a DDLJ, 
uh, and that's what he wants to be. I'd love like, to see that. Like a, the big love over yeah, the top. Yeah, I'd love to see story, that. Um, which, you know, is, is wonderful. But his, his performance, he did a great job, just like Nawaz did, uh, like in Sacred Games or in um, yeah. uh, Gangs. Agreed. Uh, of, of doing the transformation from being really old yeah. to, to when he was much, much younger. Yeah, one of the better one of the better aging processes, like when they go back in time and you see him and he's fishing and he's got the longer hair and no beard. Yeah. I was like, dude, you took 20 years off the guy. Yeah. Uh, I just, it was great. And, and it, he, he's just great. It helps that, that he can play those ages. Right. It's, it's kind of, and, and obviously makeup does help, but to age him down a lot from, yeah. and obviously being able to, I'm assuming that's his real beard. Do I'm, I'm assuming it is too. It's full, epic. It's epic, epic beard, which, I, which he looks great, by the way. I, what a surprise! <laughs> what a surprise! I, I, we, you know, we'll say this ad nauseum over and over again. I would love to talk to him to discover what his process is. If he shares that, not all actors share their process. I'm a big advocate for, you know, this isn't. It is movie magic, but there's nothing to not share. Why mm -hmm. not share your process? It's, it's really a wonderful, enriching thing to find out what makes an actor tick. Mm -hmm. And the actors we've spoken to who share their process, you learn something every single time. Yeah. And I think that's a testament, what you just mentioned about his capacity to play different ages. This is clearly a result of his process because he doesn't indicate, he doesn't do things that are external alone. I'm sure everything he does comes from, first of all, script. And then it's internalized with something he's done with backstory or other things that make it. Uh, something that he's not even thinking of because it's just a part of who the character is. Like, I'd love to know how much time he spent uh, in the cell mm. just getting acclimated to the way that feels. You know, he's the kind of actor who wouldn't surprise me if he spent the night in the cell or something. Yeah. Uh, and the other one, we just mentioned her a, a moment ago, his wife, who we've seen in films recently, she again has proven that she's she is a very very strong presence. Nam Namisha, her yeah, name? Namisha Sajayan, and forgive uh, me for mispronouncing that. Yeah, man. she's she's impressing more and more, more as and more one now. of the top actresses in India. Absolutely, uh, I think she she does a phenomenal job in this. As she's done in everything. For I think the first thing we saw, and unless I'm wrong, was just this year. Like I yeah. think we've just been introduced to you this year in the Great Indian Kitchen. Which can we talk about Malayalam cinema this year? Yeah, like. <laughs> They just they put up this Joji, uh, Great Indian Kitchen, uh, Nayakan. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking to myself watching this, and like, okay, so they're like the cricket batsman who's just hitting sixes. Just yeah, there's a six, there's a six, there's a six. Yeah, I thought she did a really. Her and Fafa had great chemistry. Great chemistry, totally believable. Uh, and she brought a good element of like she was very feisty and like she she wasn't putting up with with obviously Fafa um, and and his. His, uh, even though he wasn't the stereotypical gangster. No. And I think that's why this film differed a little from a normal gangster film, because it wasn't like just murder happening everywhere. No, in fact, it felt oftentimes more like, um, it felt more like a, uh, his character was more akin to like a, um, a civil rights leader than a gangster. Yeah. You know? It just turned into that, obviously, once, once again, spoiler when he did kill that guy. Yeah. Uh, and so that puts you into a different level. And so you're basically the dawn of the, the thing. Nobody wants to mess with you. Nobody's gonna, gonna turn on you. But that's probably one of my favorite qualities of the film is that it's a gangster film that's not your typical gangster film. Which, which is, might be why some people, including probably myself, it was probably a little bit of prejudice of a normal gangster film that I, you know, Gangs Wasp, where I expect right. those big uh, noirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Moments You're in it that, those. that make me so happy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, it, it never got to that, which is not the film's fault. It wasn't trying to be uh, Gangs of Wasp in terms of, you know, how gory it is. It was, right. it was just trying to tell this guy's story. Right. And I thought it did a, a really good job at that. I thought it did too. I also thought it did a very good job. I'm sure there's a lot of messages from the film that we missed. Like I said a little bit earlier, but one of the things that was very clear was how oftentimes, not just in India, but anywhere in the world, there are tensions that rise up that are presented by the media and the governments as having been religious tensions. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were really instigated by the government, the, government, yeah. the law, or the media. Yeah. Uh, and they, they already took a, an, an area where it was combustible, but was at peace. And to, to further their ends, they throw a match in the midst of it 
and innocent people die and out people on the outside looking and watching it think, oh my goodness, it's just religious tensions. But what was really going on was a, a, a lot of corruption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, I thought she did a great job. Uh, Joju George, even though he had a really small part, he's, even though we've only seen him, I think this and Nyaka, I, I think we saw him in something else and it was a really small role. Yeah, wasn't he in- um, Was he in Virus? I think it was Virus. Was it Virus? I think he had a small role in Virus. There was like six or seven people that were in Virus that we're constantly going back to. Yeah, um, uh, but let's see. But this was also very different than Nyakan in terms of he wasn't as animated. He had to be a lot more reserved. Yeah. A lot more within himself. Yeah. I don't uh, know if that was a script direction or if it was a choice. But I'm excited to see a lot more of him because he's a very natural actor, I feel like, and I, very I, strong. I, I feel like he, he can hold his own with Fafa. He can um, bring... A, kind of like a, a kindness to a character, but also yeah. a meanness, like he did in in Nyakan. Nyakan, yeah. Um, and so he he has, he's quite the range, but he has almost an innocence about his character that you 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 like, even if he's not the greatest guy, like a Nyakan. Right. You, you, he has this almost likability about him. And the team very clearly that has worked together before. I understand. I was told this from some stupid babies that this film was actually done. Uh, they were doing it prior to COVID and they had to stop production on it. Mm -hmm. And while they were in COVID, did See You Soon. So this was actually before See You Soon, even though See You Soon got a, an earlier release. <laughs> and it's very clear in the same way that when you watch, the most notable one is obviously Scorsese and Spielberg. Those guys use the same people over and over and over and over again. And you can see the comfort level. So does... Um, uh, Good grief. John Lasseter. No. John Williams? No. 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 Freaking come on. Django and... Oh, uh, Quentin. Thank you. John Lasseter. Uh, they use the same people in their creative teams and it shows in, in the work. Uh, yeah. That it's, it's not a coincidence this is a good film. You yeah. have the same people working together. You pointed out at the beginning, I loved the score in this. Oh, I thought it goodness. was one extremely unique uh, but also extremely powerful and, and furthered along the emotion of sure the story. Did. I liked sure it. Did. Uh, it stood out as one of my favorite parts of the film. Me too. It, it was so varied. At times it sounded like the action sequences in a, in a, in a Mission Impossible. Uh, yeah, at Sushin Shyam. So I wanted to shout him out. Uh, he, he created just every kind of possible feeling and flavor and I'm sure we don't even know the half of it in terms of cultural references and things that he did that were tips of the hats to probably, wouldn't surprise me if he did some things that were definitively Muslim, definitively Christian, definitively mm. Hindu. Yeah. And again, emotionally, I felt the, a really great pacing, which is a testament to Mahesh Narayanan and, and his direction and editing, because the pace of the film did what you anticipate a film to do when we reached our climax and then conflict and resolution. The all of it with the score really made, especially the sequence beginning when uh, Freddy comes into the jail. Yeah. From that moment all the way to the nurse coming in. Yeah. I felt, well, really all, up until his son, was I, I at one point noted the score was getting me when he's talking to Freddy and he starts to cry and Freddy's crying, who, by the way, the actor who played... Uh, I thought he did a great job. Well, no, Freddy was his son. You who, talk, who, talking was, about the guy at the end? Yeah, the, 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 the kid in the cell. In the cell with him. Right. I don't know his name, but I know who you're talking about. Freddy was his dad, the buddy, who gets shot in the leg, right? Yeah. Okay. He was great, too. I liked him. But he, I, reminded, he reminded me of the... the um, um, in, in Family Man, the, 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 yeah, the partner. The, the partner of, to uh, Manoj. Manoj. Absolutely. Sorry, he did. Yeah, go on. He reminded but me. The, the, the son, the nephew... Mm -hmm who got burned on his chest. Yeah. Uh, I, I felt that he was, everybody was really solid. I say that and I think about how that nurse was really solid. It's Molly Owen. Yeah. It, everybody was I, really good. I'd have to go back and look. It was probably the one we didn't enjoy, Bangalore Days. It was probably the last time in a Molly Owen film that we, we saw people that we were just like, mm. that we, I didn't enjoy. Right. Uh, it wasn't like a natural thing because Especially now, it, I think a lot of people are calling this like the golden age of Malayalam cinema. It nope, just surprised me. It's just, they, they're putting out so much great content. Mm -hmm. It's like they're run by A24. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very, very true. But yeah, um, 
I, I, I liked him a lot. Yeah. Uh, and and the, the, the friend, the, um, uh, there was another one uh, that, I lost it. But yeah, everybody in this I thought did a really, really great job. Um, as far as the, the editing, which is done by the director, I thought he did a great job mm -hmm. with the pacing, mm -hmm. with his editing and directing of yes. uh, two, almost three hour film. To me, did not feel like no. And, and considering all the dialogue, this thing had to have been two hundred and fifty pages of script. I mean, yeah. this thing must have been a giant script. Yeah. Uh, and again, no dead space. I mean, even for for as long as a film, I really don't think there's anything in this I would want to take out of it. Yeah. You know, I really feel like they did a good job of editing it and keeping it moving along. Uh, I was enjoying myself the whole time, uh, mm -hmm. and it just. It, it got it better. It kept you engaged. Engaged is the word I kept going over and over again. Like at one point, Andrani called me. She didn't watch it me with it. She said, "How is it?" And I said, "I'm engaged." Yeah. I just I'm 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 enjoying watching this thing and seeing what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and that's a testament to the directing, editing, and all that kind of stuff. So overall, I think I would give it probably a seven point five to eight. I agree. It bore. It's exactly right on the cusp that's of being great. great. Yeah, because I think if you get past eight, you're you're in the great territory. Yeah. Um, so I put it just in the, and I, you could, if you want to argue that this film is great, I, I would, I, I would like to hear that argument. Uh, it wouldn't bother me. Yeah. It wouldn't bother me at all. It's just, I, I wanted maybe some, that little, little extra push, like in, in, um, Kumbalaji Nights at the end when sure. Fafa flips. Sure, sure, sure. I think that's one of the things, even though it's, it was already a great film before that, yeah. that little part right there it's at like the, the end was board. like... Yeah, this is incredible. Well, and that, <laughs> that for me, does it, I, I'm not so, the, the, the cusp from good to great for me isn't that aspect. Mm. The, the cusp for me is what I mentioned earlier regarding, I feel like there's a lot I don't understand and yeah. know. Yeah, for sure. That if I did, I'd call it great. Yeah. Because it would be like, for example, I can't think of a comparable film, but let's say somebody was from Milwaukee and they saw a film about Milwaukee history. Yeah. I, wouldn't know, yeah. but someone from Milwaukee would go, oh, they nailed it. Or like, for example, when we saw Gully Boy, people said Ranveer really nailed the accent. the accent. We couldn't get the accent. Yeah. I bet there's a bunch of that that if we knew, Probably. we'd call it. I, I think it's great. Uh, but in terms of just this year, Gradient Kitchen, Joji, Nyakon, or this? As far as which one's which my favorite? Which one's your favorite? Gradient right? Kitchen. You know, I thought yeah. you said Joji was because when we reviewed Joji, you said Joji. You like Joji more than. Oh, uh, like you know Brandon what? You're Kitchen. absolutely right because of the, of the adaptation uh, inspiration of Shakespeare. from Shakespeare, the clip of the runtime. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's Joji. It's Joji. But even even still, it's incredibly close. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's still too. It's like if someone said to me, "Which should I watch, Joji or The Great Indian Kitchen?" I'd say yes. <laughs> just watch. Just them. watch both, <laughs> and watch this one. Uh, and there was another one that came out that we didn't enjoy. Uh, but a lot of a people, Malayalam one? Yeah. I don't want to say it. Okay. Because they hated it. us for it. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Just shame too. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but apparently we don't understand Malayalam. So. Apparently. Uh, or we don't even pay attention to anything other than Hindi films. That's true. Because, you know. Ranveer. Yep. Just Ranveer and Alia. Just that's all that matters to us. <laughs> I was about to say something terrible. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> this has gone off the rails. <laughs> Let us know what you thought about the film uh, down below and what should be the next Malayalam film that we watch. And we need to watch more Fafa. Well, how many more does he have? It's, all, it's a lot. It's only the halfway point of the year. He has, what, three or four films out? Come on, let's get three or four out. Let's go. <laughs>